Hey everybody, Aaron here. Welcome back to another anime review. Today we look at Kiss Him, Not Me, episode 10. So, episode 10 focuses on uh, Asuna, who is the senpai of the group. He's the oldest one of the group. And he finds a map leading to a hidden treasure of sorts that he found in the History Club when he was cleaning up the History Club. And he, of course, invites the other History Club member who is um, Kai with him. But, of course, right away the guys are like, oh, no, we can't leave him alone with her. You know, that's that's a problem. So, of course, what do they do? They all decide, let's go venture together off into the group and stuff like that. Now, meanwhile, though, what's funny about this is they start questioning something where they go, you know what? Has Asuna ever shown any interest in... You know, Kai, and w what's funny is they start showing several scenes from past episodes where it seems like he really doesn't show interest. He's always going, oh yeah, let's all go together, or let's do this together, or stuff like that. He's never really showing that he's defensive of her. And so, you know, Igarashi actually goes up to him and goes, hey, do you like Saranuma, you know, the way we do, or do you not like her that way? Because Kai is special to us, we all dig her, but you seem not to really dig her, you know, what is it with you? And he's like, I love you, and I love you also, and all these, <laughs> and he essentially says that he loves all of them, but they put him on the spot because he's, they go, well, she's special to us, is she not special to you? And he starts thinking about this in the course of this episode, and realizes when, at one point, they all get separate and lost in the, the caves, which is something that was bound to happen, there was some funny moments where, you know, at one point, I think Nana thinks, oh, this is, this is, uh, you know, Kai, it's okay, it grabs Kai, you know, quote unquote, brings it to his arms, and it's like, it's actually the other dude, the short Shota boy, <laughs> <laughs> he's like, oh god, what the... F right away, the, the one girl takes starts taking pictures of them and stuff like that. Meanwhile, um, sh you know, Kai and Asuna get trapped together, essentially, in this one area of the cave. And we find out that he, at one point, was locked in a shed and was scared shitless because he essentially was given no light, nothing, and he was terrified. So he really, when he has no light around him, he gets, like, kind of stuck to where he's standing. So he's terrified right now. But he then realizes that he's actually kind of in love with Kai. This is when he finally realizes it. So, you know, them being together in the scene has brought to light that he is really in love with her. Now, they do find the the actual treasure chest at one point, and they realize, oh, this was left by my brother. And that's everyone else was like, wait, your brother? What? Yeah, he has a brother. And that was where the second part of this episode is going to focus on, because as we see right here, meet the brother who, yeah, I can tell every fangirl would love this dude, you know. Obviously, I'm not surprised by that. Um, but... You know, what's funny about the brother is that he apparently is, you know, very close to looks like to, to him. Um, you know, Asuna and him are really close to looks like, and everyone's like, oh, you know, they're older brother, younger brother type thing. But he also gets kind of see something weird about the dude. Like, he goes for both, he plays for both parties, we'll say that, like that. He likes boys, and he likes girls, too, so he's weird in that sense. But what's interesting about his character is that he's not weird because of that, more so. He's weird because... He looks manipulative, and we could see from several scenes that even though he's getting very popular in the school, he started to focus on really what his brother's focusing on. Thus, he ends up running into Kai at one point, and they end up going on a quote-unquote, you know, like a little dinner type, not dinner, excuse me, lunch type thing with one another. And he starts getting an interest in Kai, and he even starts messing with, you know, Asuna going, oh, you know, do you like her? You know, what do you think of her? And, and stuff like that. And right away, yeah, you could see this being an issue, where at one point, and I, I don't have the fix picture for it, but um, he gives her, like, an action figure. And when he does give her an action figure of her favorite character, a box almost falls on her, he brings her close, you know, to save her. But then they're, like, really close, and he's like, you know, you're really cute. And... In comes Asuna and goes, oh, yeah, um, no, I don't, I'm not okay with this. And he goes, well, why are you not okay with it? He goes, you're a teacher. You can't be flirting with your students. He goes, well, yeah, but also, you know, if I, if, well, maybe the term's over. I'll start flirting with her. That's okay, right? And he goes, no, that's not okay. He goes, why? He goes, oh, yeah, uh, Kai's my girlfriend. So that happened. <laughs> Um, that's very interesting. Anyways, though, this was a very funny episode. We got to see, I think, a darker side of Kai, not Kai, excuse me, um, Asuna. But more so, we got to see that his brother looks like he's going to be a threat in itself. So I'm very curious. Probably next week's episode will probably focus on him more. Um, anyways, guys and girls, it's really late, so I got to kind of wrap this up. I will talk to you guys later. Have a great blessed night. Well, for you guys, because this is going to be loaded up during the day. Have a good blessed day. So I'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye. <laughs>